Growing mushrooms at home is one of the best ways to get a reliable supply of high quality mushrooms. However, before you get started, let's go over a couple things that you need to know before you start growing. First of all, purchasing your spores. While the mushroom grow kit comes with almost everything you need to get going, it does not include mushroom spores. So if you have yet to purchase your spores, we recommend you take a look at the sites below that offer high quality spore solutions, specially formulated to enhance your results. If you prefer to use a different vendor than what's at the list below, make sure that you go with a reputable supplier. Number two is understand the law. This video is intended to help you cultivate legal mushrooms only. It remains illegal in many parts of the world to manufacture, cultivate, or possess psychedelic mushrooms. Now that we've covered all of that, let's get started and make sure to subscribe to the channel for more information and tips on all things psychedelic. Now, there are a few different ways of growing mushrooms at home, but they all have the same five basic components. Number one, you need some sort of grain for the mushroom to eat. Number two, you need a substrate for the mushroom to grow in like vermiculite or perlite. Number three, a sterile container. Number four, water. And number five, spores. And there are three basic phases to grow mushrooms. One is inoculation, two is colonization, and three is fruiting. I'll go over all of this in more detail in a minute, but this is the basic process. And you must first sterilize everything and then put the spores into the substrate with the grain. This is what mycologists call inoculation. Then you keep it moist, sterile, and reasonably warm so the spores start to germinate. This is colonization. But don't worry about the name. It's not like they're enslaving the other fungal civilizations and forcing them to work in mines or anything. Then for the final stage, you change the humidity, temperature, and amount of light to make the mycelium grow mushrooms, aka fruiting bodies. This stage is called fruiting. It sounds pretty simple, but the reality is that this whole entire process is probably more complicated than you think. There are a bunch of variations in different mushroom grow protocols on the ratios of substrate to grain, the amount of humidity, the temperature, and so many other variables. And the number one thing to keep in mind is that everything must stay sterile. This is absolutely critical to making any mushroom grow work and I cannot stress this enough. It is annoyingly easy to not sterilize something properly and end up with a mushroom grow that's covered in toxic mold. I've tried a lot of different methods and trust me, it's really, really, really easy to mess this up. And this is actually the reason Third Wave created our own mushroom grow kit. So I need to be honest here, I'm not a mycologist. I love mushrooms, but I'm not in love with mushrooms. I've messed up my mushroom grows more than once, so I really just wanted an easy, done for you system that had everything already taken care of for me. So we partnered with an incredible mushroom nerd who eliminated as many of the contamination risks as possible and provides everything that you need right out of the box. We've tested dozens of other grow kits and have combined what works from each to build the easiest and fastest way of growing mushrooms at home. And so for the sake of simplicity in the rest of this video, we're going to focus on how to grow mushrooms with Third Way's Mushroom Grow Kit. But to be clear, the steps here can be applied to any mushroom grow. Now, if you wanna learn more about Third Wave's Grow Kit, just go to thethirdwave.co. So the first step that we already talked a little bit about is inoculation. During the inoculation stage, your primary goal is to create as sterile as environment as possible. This starts by properly preparing your space. So to properly prepare your space, limit airflow utilizing a walk-in closet or bathroom, then organize your supplies, bring everything you need in there for inoculation into the prep area before you start working. Three, sterilize your space so you can spray Lysol or wipe things down uh, using a 70% alcohol solution. Once your space is sterilized, then it's time to get your spawn bags ready for inoculation. So first and foremost, suit up and spray, put on your face masks, your vinyl gloves, spray your gloves, your arms up to your elbow with Lysol spray. Then prep your spawn bags. To create optimal conditions for colonization, you'll want to open up the gussets on your spawn bags so that gases can escape. To do this, unroll the extra plastic on the spawn bags and gently pull the plastic apart all the way to the top of the bags to create a type of tent. 
Do not cut open the bags. Next, wipe down the injection ports on both spawn bags with alcohol wipes. And then the next step at this stage is to inject your spores into the spawn bags. Once injected, shake up your spawn bags. Shaking the bags can help distribute the spore solution through the grains more fully, accelerating the growth of mycelium. And then once you finish all of that, you sit and you wait for the next phase, which is incubation. This is giving your mycelium the time to grow into mushrooms. And during this time, there are a few important things. One, do not disturb the growth. Two, control the temperature. Three, be patient. Four, break up the grain. Five, wait a little bit longer, which brings us to step two for the process, bulk substrate colonization. In the first stage of your mushroom cultivation, you created the conditions for your grain spawn bags to be fully colonized with mycelium. In the second stage, you're going to colonize your bulk substrate. And there are several steps you'll need to take to make this happen successfully. So the first step is to thaw out your compost. The second step is to grab your supplies. The third step is to sterilize. The fourth step is to suit up. The fifth step is to break up the fully colonized grain bags. The sixth step is to open the compost bag. The seventh step is to pour the compost into the myco bags. The eighth step is to cut open the colonized grain bags. And the ninth step is to add the colonized grain to the compost. The tenth step is to seal the bags. The eleventh step is to mix it well. And then the twelfth and final step is to wait and watch. So be patient, wait and watch, see what happens. Stage three is fruiting. So this is the third and final stage in the growing process. And in this third stage of your mushroom cultivation, the aim is to create the optimal conditions for your mushrooms to fruit. To make that happen, it's now time to introduce a scheduled light cycle and a lower ambient temperature. As with the other stages of your cultivation, there are a few steps to follow here. Six to be specific. So the six steps to fruiting are, one, find a slightly cooler space. Two, plug the light bulb provided into a desk lamp. Three, alternate light and dark. Four, make sure you mist the mushrooms. Five, once you finish misting, fan out each bag for roughly 60 to 90 seconds by rapidly opening and closing the gussets. Six, watch for primordia. So within five to seven days of beginning the fruiting stage, you should start to see primordia forming in your substrate. And then finally, we have stage four. So you've grown the mushrooms. Now you need to harvest the mushrooms, right? And this is a huge step. So if you've reached it this far, congratulations. You finally have mushrooms growing. And although it can be tempting to just begin picking your mushrooms as soon as they emerge, there's actually an art to harvesting to both avoid contamination and create the optimal conditions for several flushes. And so to get this right, simply follow these easy steps. One, pick each mushroom as it matures. Two, sterility still matters. So before opening your myco bag to harvest your mature mushrooms, put on a fresh pair of gloves. Three, dry your mushrooms. You can use a food dehydrator to dry them. Four, store your mushrooms in an airtight container. And then five, just keep misting and fanning the substrate. And that's it. That's all you need to do to start growing incredible mushrooms at home. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to post a comment and we'll get back to you. If you'd like to use Third Wave's Mushroom Grow Kit to get started, remember that you can pick one up at thethirdwave.co or click the link below in the description. And finally, remember to like and subscribe to Third Wave's channel to stay up to date on more informational psychedelic videos. Thank you so much for watching. If you wanna stay up to date on the third wave of psychedelics, subscribe to this channel and visit thethirdwave.co where you'll find plenty of free resources on the intentional and responsible use of psychedelic medicine.